So today I want to talk about the perfect Naruto game. Yours may be different, but this is my opinion. First of all, character creation. Now, the first thing I want to say about the character creation is the character creation should be just like in the theory. You sh there's no giving your character a Renegon. You pick a clan. Let's say if you want to have a Sharingan, you pick the Uchiha. They don't give you the Sharingan. You, you, if you pick an Uchiha, you, you then, therefore, have the potential to unlock the Shotting God. So that would be really cool. If you're a Shuga and you have to do whatever the Shuga do to unlock them, you have to, like, learn how to use it, I guess. I'm not 100% sure in universe how the Byakugan training works. Hell, we don't know much about the Shotting God training. We've been skipped a lot of it. But the point is that you can learn how to use these abilities. I don't think you should be able to be a Jinshuriki. Because there's only nine Jinshuriki. Like, you can just, you can just say the Yoshia clan's alive. Like, you can just do that. But I really feel the Jinshuriki in the series should just be the nine that were, the nine from the war. Naruto for Kurama, Killer Me for the Eight Tails, Gar for Shikaku, like, stuff like that. The third, the third Mitsukage for the Three Tails. Then the fourth, he was the fourth Mitsukage. I don't know all the Jinshuriki names, I'm sorry. But, you know, they should just be them. Like, they should just be the Jinshuriki. They can play a role in the story, they can give you quests. But no, like, the, the character creation should simply be you pick a clan and you gain a special ability from it. Like, you want to pick the Shadow Protection, you pick the Nara clan. Stuff like that. Now, I want, I don't want, okay, this game shouldn't should not be built to be balanced. It should be something that the players have to be, like, it should be an open world game, first of all. I want it to be open world, like the entire Naruto verse. All the villages, tons of lands for, like, fighting in between, and online multiplayer. Sort of like a Naruto Elder Scrolls Online. Just less crappy. So, what would happen is, is that you wouldn't have, like, balanced skills but what happened is, you would bump into somebody, let's say you start the game, and you would start the game, you would have like, no, you would have like, base, you would have like a basic set of techniques, maybe like Shadow Clone Jitsu and Substitution Jitsu. And then let's say you bump into somebody with a Renegon, for example. There is no balancing, but, oh, but to balance the game, you make your character stronger. So in this game, you it, you level up, you get stronger, and you learn new jit do. Sort of like Xenover. However, there are limits to that. There will be times when, you're, when the game is unbalanced and you're at a disadvantage it, it, due to elemental differences. Because I do think the chakra nature thing should apply. So if somebody's chakra nature is just better than yours, or is just o overcoming yours, that's just the way it is. Like... Fire and water, not a good combination. Like, if you over, like, can put out somebody's fireball just do with a water dragon just do, whatever. Kind of like a Pokemon kind of scenario. Like, it's not really balanced, but whatever. Now, I also feel like you should have to learn these just do. Like, I feel like you should have to go to people that know them and get them to teach it to you. And I feel like you can be able to learn any relative skill if you can make... There should be like a system of you have to gain the respect of that person as a ninja. You have to make them respect you as a ninja. Like just, let's say, let's say you're really powerful but you keep, but you, but you keep dying on a mission. Like, the mission's too tough and because you can't survive long enough. Like, you can beat it. You would need to be able to heal yourself. So you would go to Sakura and you would need to do like a mission for Sakura. And make her respect you, and then she teach you how to heal your how to use medical ninja, I mean, and then she start teaching you medical ninja, and she agree to train you. She teach you medical ninja, and then you could later on go heal the wood, heal yourself, and then take on the take on the boss. Very RPG like, but I also feel that it would go into like a storm mode. So like what happened is you would be traveling, and then it would go, and when you met each other, like when two players met each other. If they were from opposite villages, you should be able to pick your village, what village you're from, you pick that. If they're from opposite villages, they fight each other. If they're from, if they're from opposite villages, you have the option to fight each other. Or if you're from the same village, you can do it, but why would you want to fight somebody from your own village? 
outside of the village where there's enemies all around you. You think it'd be safer to fight them in the village? In the, in the village, it would be like safe zones. Like, the only time you can get hurt in the village is doing a fight with another player. But when you're out of the village, if you get like your injury carry over to when you're free roaming, you know what I mean, like in like an MMORPG. So, when I kind of like Skyrim, like if a tiger near, if you nearly get killed by a wolf, your health not gonna be back after you kill the wolf. Even if you win the fight, you'll still be injured and you'll still be weakened and susceptible to attack. Now, I feel like when you do fight. It should, it should go into like a Storm 4 kind of engine. You know what I mean? Like it should go into like a Storm 4 kind of engine maybe. Either that or like a Skyrim engine. Either one. But I feel like it should be going to one of those engines. And you can fight each other. And then, you know, you can do tons of stuff. Stuff like that. I feel like all, you can take on missions. I also feel you should have a Genning team. Like, uh, how cool would the, this is a pretty cool idea. It's very advanced and would cost money, and you have to really maintain it. But if, imagine if there was if, if there was a if there was a can you, if, if the play if other players were the Jonin Sensei, how cool would that be? Now that that's nothing I would like. This is unreal. That's it. But this is a perfect game, guys. This is my idea for the perfect Naruto game. So imagine if, if like there were players that read Jonin. You start the game. You be you grant you have to pass like a basic tutor, a tutorial like the academy test. So you have to pass that, and you get paired with two other players. Now this is the great part about this. I don't think you should get to choose no player. I don't think you should. I think you should be just lumped with them. Like if you want to play the game, you gotta put up with these people. And you can still play with your friends, but your actual team. It, like you get you get trapped in a team with other players. Like if you want to beat the main story mode, you then the two hundred people need to work together. Then that would be so much like that would be what it would be like to be in the theory. Like you no, you don't get to choose your teammate. So why well, did you? So you get lumped with two hundred play new new players. Like two new players get dumped lumped with each other. And I guess, you know, they would have to figure out a way to make that work, but two players would get dumped with each other, and then you would have a Jonin Sensei who could actually be a player. Like, how cool would that, who could sometimes be a player? I, I understand they wouldn't always be players, because player would, not every player would choose to do it, but how cool would it be if you could actually be a Jonin Sensei to a group of actual people who don't know the game? Like, how awesome would that be to, like, actually give three other real-life people the bell test in the game? So there could be stuff like that. Like, I feel like it would be a very unreliant on AI. I mean, they did all in the perfect world. In the, in the actual game, they're probably in reality have to use an AI sensei, which would suck. But it would still be really cool if you could, like, train. And you have to, you know, be a getting... You, you go to tuning, take the tuning in that, take the joning in that. And when would it take place? Is probably what you're wondering. In my ideal world, it would take place post-war. And I feel like it would be like this like goal, like between the players. Like, I don't think it would be stated in the game, but like, you would be able to, you should be able to gain the respect of any ninja. And while it would never be said, how cool would it be if there was like an end goal where you got to pick a member to be trained with a member of Team 7? Like when you got to train with one of them. And you could only pick one. And that was like, if, if like when you matched, after you, you know, got into like a certain point in the game, you would be often to train with one of the, out of the three of them. That would be awesome. And you get be often to learn the summoning just doing and summon the giant animal. And that would be really, really, actually, I don't know about that. I mean, that kind of messed it with the continuity. Like, it's everything. Yeah, I don't think, I take that back. I leave the way the giant stumbling. But, I mean, how cool would that be? How cool would that be? Or if maybe you need to work your way up, like, you know, you train, you know, like, you train with Sakura. You, you know, you train, like, you have to train with Sakura. And then Sakura, and then there's some stupid stuff, like, I've taught you all I can teach you. And then you get to make, and then, you know, this is actually the best option. So, you train with Sakura, and you master, like, a certain number of techniques, and she's like, this is all I can teach you. And then she's like, and then she gives you the option, 
and she tells you I can put a good wording with. And then you get to shoot between training with Naruto or Sasuke. I thought that'd be a very good way to kind of, you know, cater to the fan base Naruto versus Sasuke debate. Because we're, people are going to say, Naruto better, Sasuke better. So how cool would it be? You don't get to train, you have to train with Sakura. And then, and she can, she has to, and she goes and convinces whoever you choose to train you. And then you train with them. That would be really cool. I mean, that would be epic. I also think you'd be able to go to all the villages. Like, you go to all the villages, you take a mission. And I feel like it would be very cool if they... This is really... If when they left the game, they allowed the players to kind of take over. Like, eventually... You know, like, how cool would it be if eventually they let up... Like, Naruto... They have to continue updating the game. I would say eventually in the game, somebody, I would say the goal of the game would be to defeat Naruto. And when someone defeats Naruto, maybe like they become the Hokage, like something like that. Like you beat Naruto, you're, na like, you're named the best player in the game, you're named the next Hokage, or the next Kabe Kage, or whatever village you're from. Like, so the four best players, the five best players end up being the Kage eventually. Like Naruto would be Hokage for a bit, but eventually they you know, someone would have taken now. And how cool would that be if, like, then you could have the leaders, like, the, the Hokage give the missions. How cool would it be if, like, you could go to the player and the player could decide what choices you get. Like, the player could decide what kind of mission you get. The player being the Hokage. And then, like, the act. How, I'm, when I'm trying to get at, the community could get shape the Naruto world. Like, so the person at the, at the Hokage could say, could, could give, could give orders that, and the person at the Raikai could get certain orders, and, and those two, and those orders could eventually lead to the, to the Leaf and the Rock going to war. Like, how cool would that be? How cool would that be? Now, this is all just crappy nonsense that sounds unsensical and really crazy. But these are the things I think it, done correctly and managed correctly, some of these things could be really cool. Yeah, I feel like Naruto is one of those theories. The best way to make a good Naruto game is to make is to let you be in Naruto. And I feel like the most important thing though would be diversity. You would need to be able to choose between your clan, your Taijutsu, your Kabuki, it needs like, the character creation in this kind of game would need to be better than something like in, like, Xenoverse. It really would be. Like, you would need to be able to pick different attacks. And, and it would need to be very hard to get to stuff like Hokage. Like, the thing I talk about, like, the player being Hokage, I'm not talking about it taking, like, a month. I'm talking about this being just as hard as it is in theory. Just shrunken down, but incredibly difficult. Like the Naruto AI should one shot like the highest level in the should be able to one shot like but you know the highest level in the game easily. Like something like that. Like incredibly powerful. Like it should not be easy. And I feel like attaining things like Rinnegan should not be easy. I feel like it should be a very, I feel like it should kind of be a game where you, you create your own Naruto character and you can do whatever you want in the verse, even including attacking and destroying AIs and stuff like that. Like, how cool would it be if you could, like, kill Fu and steal the Seven Tails? Like, there can't be more than one, and, and then that player becomes a Jinchuriki of the Seven Tails, and all the other players in the game are like, Okay, how are we going to handle this? Like, do we want to kill them and take the seven tails for ourselves? And yeah, I do feel as I mentioned earlier, the getting team. I feel like you would stick with your getting team for a bit. Like, I feel like the getting team, you don't have to stick with them. Like, I think it'd be pretty cool if they lumped a group of players together and were like, this is your getting team. But then eventually, but you would always have the choice to lead the getting team. But I feel like it would just be cool if they had put that, that up. Like, and you would lead your getting team eventually, and you would, like, meet up with your friends, and you form, like, a squad, and you guys would go out, and you'd be like, what the smart thing to do? You could become a rogue ninja. You and your friend could, could decide, nah, like, Fruity, 
screw you and your you and your friends can decide you don't like being ninjas in the and in Stan Village. Like you don't like it. You picked a shitty village. So you're gonna leave. And you're gonna become rogue ninjas and you're gonna like destroy the Stan. And you could do that. And you could try to kill Gara. And you really wanted to, and you could be the the Kage AIs are killable. So you could try to kill Gara and if you kill it, you can become a dictator. You and your friends can become like the dictators of the sand. And like treat all the other players like shit, like get them really shitty missions and stuff, and then the player would like fight against you and it's, a, it's an idea. These are just ideas, alright? I'm not a programmer. I'm not talking about this from a programming or would this be good or would this be fun. I'm just talking about things that just, this the idea if done in the perfect world, in the perfect way would be entertaining. But what would you guys have as your perfect Naruto game? I've talked a lot about a lot of the kind of thing you could do in a perfect Naruto game. I want you to tell me what you could do in a perfect Naruto game in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Naruto videos. And above all else guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out.